Hello, I'm Rachel. Thanks for joining me on Calkine TV for the ASX Buzzing Stocks of the Day. Now, Australian shares did open lower this morning, weighed down by miners as reports of increased COVID-19 cases in top steel producer China revived demand concerns. The S&P SX200 is down 0.2% in early trade, a 1.5% fall for the BHP group, leading the materials sector 0.9% lower. The best performer is electronics goods retailer JB Hi-Fi, with stock up 4.5% in early trade. The company reported its net profit jumped more than 14% for the six months to December the 31st. Shares in auto parts at business at Babcor are down 4.2% to $6.45. Broker Morgan Stanley cut its price target from $7 to $6 on an anticipated margin fall. The best performing sector is healthcare, up 0.6%. Shares in biotechnology company CSL are up 1%. Link Group administration shares opened the session 1% down. It reported that law firm Lee Day has served a group action in England against Link Fund Solutions, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Link Group, in relation to the handling of its LF Equity Income Fund. According to Bloomberg, Link suspended redemptions from the fund in 2019, leaving investors trapped. It faces a fine from the UK watchdog as well as hundreds of millions of pounds of redress claims. Link said it will vigorously defend itself against these proceedings. And Hub24 shares also opened 2.64% down. The company delivered net inflows of $2.8 billion in the second quarter of 2023. In the context of current market dynamics and macroeconomic events, the business has achieved a strong first half of 2023 with $5.8 billion of net inflows as of the 31st of December. Hub24 reports total funds under administration of $73 billion at the 31st of December. Hub24's market leadership position and focus are on delivering innovative solutions and it continues to resonate with clients. And Vulcan Energy Resources shares opened 0.14% higher. They've signed a binding term sheet with Stellantis for the first phase of a multi-phase project aimed at decarbonizing the energy mix of the Ruschelschelm automotive manufacturing site in the Upper Rhine Valley in Germany by developing new geothermal projects. Vulcan's Managing Director and CEO, Dr. Franz Sirth Wedin, says Vulcan's core mission is decarbonization through carbon neutral, zero fossil fuels, lithium and renewable energy supply. Vulcan will support its largest lithium customer and one of its major shareholders to decarbonize Stellantis automotive production in Europe. Well, that's all for this edition of the ASX Buzzing Stocks for the Day. Another episode is coming your way tomorrow. Keep watching Calkine TV for the latest market insights and business news. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.